is going on guys wiser here and coming to you with a recap of the last war for 2.0 uh this was a midweek uh random matchup against the fine people over at Clontanamo bay uh overall we actually had a pretty decent advantage um well, yeah, it, it definitely was an advantage, don't get me wrong. Uh, we had, uh, there was both 6 town 11s on either side. Their bottom was a 10.5, ours was an 11. And then sort of the same goes for town hall 10s, but their bottom two, maybe we had one 9.5, but at least their bottom two were, uh, I believe, 9.5s as well, compared to our 10s. We did have an advantage on them, as um, absolutely did. Uh, but went to town with it and came away with uh, a pretty good win, uh, 106 uh, one, or 116 to 107. Uh, Clontano Bay rocked it though. I mean, they put up a hell of a fight considering they were down um, some attacks, or I guess not really down attacks. They were more that they had to spend more attacks against higher defenses, right? Like, um, you know, the 9.5s had to face Inferno Towers, and that 10.5 had to face an Eagle. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyhow, so the only crummy thing about this war is that the new update came out. So I'm going to take this opportunity actually to just talk a little bit about the update. I don't know if any of you guys follow me on Twitter, but if you do, uh, you might know that I'm sort of an, in an opposite stance. It may seem uh, about the update. I kind of liked the, the direction they were trying to take. Unfortunately, they missed the mark, and I'll definitely agree with that. Um, bottom line, everyone's crying about the the healers being nerfed. I get it. The mines suck. It was totally counterintuitive to what they were doing. But you can't deny the fact that healers needed a change, need some sort of change. My opinion, I've said this in my other videos, healers just needed their hit points reduced. Screw the mines. Screw the surprises. Just reduce their hit points because then what that does it still allows you for the same thing, but imagine if a healer died to two air defense shots. If you don't plan properly, fresh hit, you you should know your healer pathing and what it's what they're gonna do. And if you can't keep them away from air defense, they're gonna die very, very, very quickly. Right? To me that would would be a much better change because I think that would affect all the town hall levels properly. Um, because you can still plan and still get the same effect as long as you keep your healers out of harm's way. Right now, they have more hit points, or at least as many hit points as we think a level six giant, maybe even a maybe even a level seven giant. Not 100% sure on that one. I'd have to check, but they're a tank. They, have you ever seen like a, a Town Hall nine Tesla try and kill a healer from full health? It takes it just tries so hard <laughs> to kill this Tesla, or sorry to kill the healer. But anyhow. Um, Something needed to be done with the healers. They just did the wrong thing. That's what I think. Um, they all they, they were just totally opposite in what they wanted. They wanted to try and let, they wanted to try and discourage mass attacks. And um, I, I believe uh, here's what I also truly believe is that they are setting up a reveal of a new defense. Um, that's going to really change a lot of things. But they, they were totally counterintuitive. I, I, anyone who's watched any videos about it knows. Miners longer out on the ground, just get healed more. There are no change whatsoever. We're actually going to check a few of these out because the update came out and I lost most of the replays, as you can see. Um, but I do got a few actually to show you. I got one Town Hall 11 versus 11 triple to show you. Let's just jump in. I can kind of continue to discuss what I'm talking about while we watch this. So, um, yeah, you know what? Healers aren't necessarily a great idea now at the Town Hall 11 and 10 level. I will say this. I really don't believe it had almost any effect at the Town Hall 9 level, which is also the counterintuitive thing here. The problem with this game right now, balance-wise, in my opinion, obviously, is Town Hall 9 versus 9 is too easy. Um, and 10 versus 10 is way too hard. And 11 versus 11, your only options are to have these mass spam attacks. Those are basically the three main factors i think they should be focusing on with balance um because if you you look at the town hall 10 version especially now all they did by these changes right it did not affect town hall 9 i'm sorry i mean i know i i use primarily a vealer attack which uses seven healers and i'm still tripling everything yeah sometimes now i lose a healer or two to a couple mines 
no big fucking deal. Absolutely not at all. I mean, Town Hall 9, in my opinion, has not been affected whatsoever. Town Hall 9 needed something done about the bowlers. Because the bowlers in the CC are just taking over the... Are, are just taking over. Like, there's, there's very little reason otherwise to bring any other troops to Town Hall 9. And it's just... I know they're they're sort of tearing away of Town Hall 9 being that difficult, but it's just still there needs to be a little bit of a tweak there. And I believe they could make the tweaks um, like lowering healer hit points and like maybe limiting troop space on the bowlers and stuff. I don't know. I imagine they're working up some, su uh, some sort of new defense concoction. Um, I know it's been thrown around a lot, so maybe that's what they're setting up here. But um, Town Hall 10... Really, it's a, it's a much different game. And charges and queen walks, yeah, are very affected. And it is more difficult. Primarily, and I learned this firsthand, I actually had a miserable fail um, in my last war on my Town Hall 10. And what seemed to me at first um, about what should have been just like a regular uh, sort of queen charge, or sorry, queen walk actually, I wasn't even charging her in. She was tanking two cannons and an expo, and they took her down very quickly. I did not take into effect the new um, cannon DPS buff. So, but the problem with that is it has nothing to do with mass miners or bowlers. I mean, I just watched a power bang video where you watch this cannon, and he like manages to maybe take down one miner in the time here. <laughs> so, um,. <laughs> it did nothing to do the mass. All it did was thwart queen walks. Same with the the mines. All it does is thwart queen walks. It really has nothing to do with miners at all. So you just hurt queen walks, and you hurt a potential way that Town Hall 10s can really get a step up against the Town Hall 10 base. Uh, yet all you're doing is because you're 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 shearing away from that because you're making that more difficult. While well, you're leaning towards what did you just buff by accident, as far as I know, because I think you meant for it to be um, a, a nerf on the miners, but it's definitely a buff, and you're just promoting mass attacks. I think they're going to change that. I know there's a lot of feedback on that. However, it's just ridiculous. I mean, you, you basically took, took one aspect away, which I think needed adjustments, and that's what I'm saying from the get-go here. Healers need adjustments. Healers need to be more... Uh, more um, fragile i mean sh they should die very quickly in my opinion um however they didn't they just buff miners and it just i think it just got more ridiculous i guess we'll see what happens down the road here um but i mean realistically you just you just hurt town hall 10 more and did nothing for town hall 9 and just promoted spam attacks at town hall 11 because let's check out a couple of these bullies so these are all post update attacks right so these guys are thinking like Okay, well, if healers are going to get targeted by mines, let's just do the spam attacks. I mean, you know, 30 miners here, 10 bowlers. Uh, I'm not sure what you think. Maybe it's max miners in the CC. So he just gets a couple of these dragons down. No big deal. Baby Ds doing their thing, getting that funnel going. And in comes a CC of Giants, sorry, and the heroes in behind. They're going to do a little bit of tanking. Grand Warden in with that sexy, sexy aura. Just keeping all those Giants, you know, nice and high hit points there. Just going to work into this base, uh, basically jump right near this Inferno Tower. And this kill squad with these bowlers now, spam bowlers, like 10 in behind. Let's just group them right up, let them walk into this rage. They're going to step in with that jump spell. Everything's going to move kind of down and around to the jump. And then they're going to jump in and target the Inferno Tower. Down it goes. So big value from these 10 bowlers. CC of Giants and the heroes. Takes care of that clan castle. Poisons are down. And in come the 30 miners. So 30 miners coming in from the 6 o'clock. They're just going to kind of work their way up to 3 o'clock here now. Because the kill squad's still in there. Sort of funneling them across the base. Heal spell goes down. Number one. He still has two more heals now. He just really has to worry about this Inferno Tower here. So... See what I mean, guys? Like, you know, level three Inferno Tower. I know, I know they're max miners. I know this is a bully attack. I get it, but I mean, it, it's just they just were so off the mark on this update. Um, I just don't like people saying saying it's the healers. It's not necessarily the healers. It's just the way they they went about it. I believe um, you. They should try and make units 
so that there's no effect on the unit by what they change unless you have bad planning. So to me, if you just make healers wimpy, wimpy little healers that if you they target an air defense, they don't sit there for five air defense rotations, they maybe take two shots and they're dead. That just comes down to planning. That has nothing to do, you know, that's not really going to change. You're not just going to be going on your queen walk, have four healers, and some guy puts two mines on the outside of his base, and then your queen walk's failed, and your raid has essentially failed in return. Anyhow, I just I just hope hope we see some some different different adjustments as uh, as September goes on here. But uh, I know there is going to be a fairly big update coming soon, and uh, and hopefully they address that. Because honestly, I can't believe it. Anyhow, Myers finishing the job here. Done, done, and done. All they need to do. I think it's just adjust the troop space by one. I was trying to think about this. I'm like, and take care and get rid of this minor business. Um, and here's another thing too. You guys ever notice a wizard tower? How poor the AI is on your wizard towers? Like if a unit is moving at all, the wizard tower does not hit it. Imagine if they fix that. So that wizard tower, every shot a wizard tower did, it did full damage and full splash damage to everything that was in that vicinity. Didn't matter if it's moving or not. I've watched I've watched a wizard walk up to a wizard tower, take three shots to the face and not take one point of damage. Like that's just wrong. Um, and especially because now we're looking at splash damage. I like some ideas to be thrown around about really, really buffing the mortar. Like let's make the mortar a fucking defense and not some golem lure on the outside that's pretty much all i use them for sorry but that's that's just so true i don't know they they could really i think give queen walks back in the sense where don't make these surprised mines kill healers i think that's stupid if you really want to do it lower healer hit points give that back then you're going to allow the tens to have, get a little creative with their with their queen walks and then what you do is just add a troop space to your bowlers so you get a few less in your army, then that means town hall nines can only can have to take one less, and um, that's a slight adjustment that I think would make a difference, because they definitely just promoted the hell out of bringing forty eight miners and your heroes and just calling it a day. <laughs> Check BP here. <laughs> he's just gonna do his thing and basically four finger drop I believe these miners here in one second Let's get this going three two one here comes the queen queen on one side king on the other side uh, grand warden down in the middle just spreading those healers out and let's four finger drop the miners into the base just gonna walk right across the thing here those miners go here oh, it doesn't matter bomb no big deal so got heals fell down now there they go. Poison's down. Take care of the CC. Who cares if there's a baby drag? Good poison, though. It's going to take care of the baby drag with no rain, uh, no air attacking units in there whatsoever. So good job on that. Raid spell goes down on the core. Let's just push those miners right through that clan castle. Don't want to let them, let them get stuck up on that stuff too much. We're going to go ahead and drop a heal spell kind of on a weird angle. There even ends up being, I think, three bombs <laughs> surrounding this to, uh, to Inferno Tower. <laughs> and it just is not enough to take care of the miners. I don't know. Sucks, Supercell. Definitely, definitely missed the mark on this one. Um, I, but in in all honesty, guys, I truly believe <laughs> the monkey who decided that this was the way to balance did it with good intentions. He thought he thought he was going to be making miners less powerful, and that he was making healers a little bit less powerful, and in turn, by that, he's going to make HGHB less powerful, and he's going to make Mass Miner less powerful. It unfortunately clearly did not go through enough testing. I don't know, but it was a big mistake, and hopefully, hopefully they change things soon here. Um, like really, if you want miners to be less powerful, I was thinking about this today. What about a cooldown on the burrow? Three seconds. Say, imagine your miners could not go back underground for three seconds after they that that would mean they killed the building from like. Like a say a mine and a gold mine, three seconds they would kill the mine and drop down basically right when the mine dies, right? However, if they quickly kill a builder's hut or if they're standing up for a second for like a skeleton trap, 
they have to stand about ground for three seconds. So there's no like popping up and down constantly. Um, something like that. I don't know. There, that would be so much more sensible than making them slower. I don't know what they were thinking, but anyways, guys, sorry. I couldn't really show you too, uh, too much here. Uh, but that update dropped and <laughs> there's a lot of unhappy people about that. But anyways, going to call it a night. That'll do it for your wisdom from wiser. Just trying to help the bag that next tree start till then. I'm out.